Happy Lemonex here. We're uh, getting some wildlife today. It's a Sunday, in February. And uh, we had another resurgence of raccoons. Looks like looks like they got in. Got into this time. We did some exclusion. They covered the winter time until I could do some finishing work and it looks like they uh, ripped into the wire. They find it, found an edge. Usually they would just give up. And I uh, foamed and put some backing in there. But it seems like they probably got back in because there's no other spots that they, that's how they're getting in before. And it looks like somehow they uh, opened it back up even though the metal is still in place. But it looks like they somehow got into the uh, wire somehow worked their way in there so uh oh well so i have my i have my uh ladder but i don't have the the wire so maybe you know while i'm here maybe uh well i would hate to i don't know if they're in or out that's the problem because i sleep during the day so if they're in the attic they got to come out i caught one already inside the attic we had a trap in there for about a month we were waiting I was going to wait till, you know, leave that trap in there. We are going to do some cleanup. But then we caught one after a whole month of no activity. And the sensor that was on the trap uh, alerted that we caught, caught us raccoons. So I start, now i got to do the trapping again on the exterior. You saw that trap there because it's winter time. It's in the 40s now, but this past week we had to halt the trapping because it got into the single digits. Everything was, everything was frozen, like all day. It was in the single digits all day during the week, a couple days. So I didn't want to put any traps outside with that kind of weather. But when it's in the 30s, even in the 20s, uh, this would be adequate enough. Uh, and that way we could check, check these traps morning or night. And that, uh, when it's, you know, in the 30s at the lowest... Uh, that that's that's fine. They can definitely wait it out. And then uh, if we get no more activity, then I'm going to go ahead and and they're not hearing anything in the attic anymore. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, do more repair. It's unfortunate because I thought I did an adequate enough exclusion because we didn't want to do a finished job. We didn't want to do a finished cosmetic job. We just want to pest proof to discourage them but they're so determined to get back in and I'm going to make a recommendation and get this tree cut down because I already caught eight, eight raccoons so how they keep getting up there they're likely getting up this tree just climbing right up so we got to get that thing cut down so I'm going to document that we caught a raccoon next to the tree here and that'll verify that it's coming up and down the tree and I'm going to write a report that they're going to have to cut that tree down. Or or I can't give them a, a warranty to keep trapping for free. They're going to have to pay me for additional trapping if they leave this tree here. So just not going to get abused from, you know, and trap every raccoon. In the, if, if I know how they're getting up, might as well just get rid of the tree. Usually if it's a on, on and off again kind of thing, you catch one or two. But if it's like eight, you catch eight in just two months' time, and then it happens again, forget about it. You're gonna cut this tree down. I'm not gonna keep going back. And then we gotta get this thing uh, sealed up nice so they don't keep working at it. Uh, then we, they had uh, complications because uh, squirrels got in, in between. In between the trapping, squirrels took over. It was just a nightmare. So you know it's, it's a tree. You got squirrels, raccoons, they're just not finding the hard way up. They're going the easy way up. So that's going to go in my report. 